Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. Welcome to Freddy Venturas. <laughs> yeah, today we're gonna do another tutorial. Uh, this is gonna be about bypassing a restricted network that asks you for authentication. And um, yeah, uh, we're gonna use a DNS tunnel in the with the program Iodine, which stands for uh, it's a game of words with a DNS Iodine. Also because it's the port fifty three. That's the atomic number of the iodine, apparently, and they make this program. It allows you to do a DNS tunnel, so pass all the information through that protocol that is still in these restricted networks. Even if you are not authenticated, you can still pass information through there because um, by the nature of the DNS protocol, uh, they need to allow that. It's, it's like a little leak and a little workaround that you can do. Just uh, caveats, it's uh, quite slow. The, um, yeah, this, uh, this solution is quite slow. So it's just for education purposes. Uh, yet again, well, this is a hacking technique. So you should do it only at home or in an authorized network that uh, you advise that you're gonna do this. So I'm gonna do it in here. And um, yeah, guys, um, like like always, you know, hacking is not about getting data from others. It's about understanding the protocols that lie uh, on the bottom of everything. So then you can go layers down, understand the computers, understand the networks. That's what we're doing in here. And don't be tricky, guys. Don't do it without authorization. Yeah, it's my advice. Okay, so theoretical explanation. Okay guys, so requirements. We're gonna need Linux, uh, preferably, or any other operating system, uh, preferably Linux. We're gonna need an internet connection. It might be obvious, but some people might wanna attempt this without internet connection uh, behind that uh, portal already. No, no, you need to prepare your tools first, and then maybe you will be able to, if you are successful with this super tutorial, you will be able to do it. Okay, uh, really important, a VPS, you need to have a, a virtual private server, a small one, you know, cheap ones there for 12, uh, 12 pounds a year or something like that. Okay, we're gonna need also a domain name purchased. Uh, there are some for free apparently, but I think like uh, they, they don't cost more than one pound a, a year. Um, yeah, with offers. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna also check these domain names. And of course, yeah, a little bit of uh, knowledge of networking to see. We're gonna gonna explain a little bit this, but you're gonna need to. Let's stand. Okay, so basically, okay, we, we're gonna come back. Um, we are in an IP, this is an IP, and this is our computer, my host. Uh, we, we're connecting to the internet, but there is a, there is a captive portal. Well, this web server and the server is a captive portal. It's intercepting all the communications with the internet, all the requests, HTTP requests and it is uh, telling you basically to authentify. Uh, otherwise, you, you won't be able to get any traffic uh, to internet, but you are able, because of the protocol uh, DNS, of the nature of the DNS protocol, you are able uh, still to resolve, um, use the DNS protocol basically, you, you can resolve uh, URLs, URLs into IPs. So this is gonna be open. UDP 53. So we're gonna use that to access to the internet. Okay, so we got um, a program that is gonna do that for us. It's gonna open a tunnel through there. So our our VPS is gonna be the server who's gonna serve that information through that protocol and through that tunnel send it to us. You know, send it to us. Okay, so what is the DNS protocol? So it's, okay, it's the domain name system. Basically it works uh, through the port UDP uh, 53. And it's uh, just uh, in its most basic basic form. It just translates URLs into IPs. It's like a phone book. So when you look for uh, Albert Einstein, for example, you could see his phone number, that like a phone book that now no longer exists almost. In this case, you know, we got uh, Wikipedia, and uh, that's what we type on the browser. And magically, we press enter, 
and we get the um, the IP address. We we get the website, but behind is asking for the IP address. Um, if that goes separately than the, on the data, all the main data inter interchange that goes separately, that goes through UDP 53. It's made for really, really not much bandwidth, that protocol, obviously, because it's just for this resolving, is resolve the concept that we need to grasp. So yeah, it's a decentralized system and it works through DNS recursion uh, that is the exploit we can use, the workaround we can use on this protocol to actually get the access. Here, basically, we're going to use that protocol, so resolving things. We're going to kind of resolve things. That's, gonna, that's what it's going to look like for, for you know, all the system, in all the system, in the, in the part of the LAN local area network. But in, in fact, that is actual data, that is actual data from the internet. The main caveats of this workaround is that it's really slow. You know, we're gonna, it's gonna be really slow. You know, it's just for, a, if you really need this, you know, you're gonna use this, you know, like it's really like, you're gonna come back to the, to the 90s, to the early 90s. So, yeah. Okay, so let's get hands into it, guys. Let's go to the computer. Okay, guys, so let's do the tutorial quick. Uh, okay, first of all, for a DNS tunneling with iodine, first we need to go to name chip, I mean a domain register, any, for example, name chip, in my case, which uh, they do domains for just one pound a, a year, or the first year, so to try this, you know, it's more than, than enough. Uh, okay, we go to name chip. Now we're gonna need to do some adjustments to our domain, just two entries. So we go to our account, our dashboard. After obviously you have to purchase it. Yeah. And after you purchase this, you can go to your dashboard, go to domain list in here. Then go to manage, go to advanced DNS. And in here, we're going to need to add two records. We're going to need to add a record. I'm not going to do it because I already have them, but it's an A record and a NS record. The A record, got them written in here, is going to be DNS A dot, your domain name, I guess Freddy Ventura, dot XYZ, and then pointing to your public um, IP address of your server. The NS record is called a t dot Ventura dot xyz and then pointing to the one you created before dnsa dot your domain name dot xyz. You're gonna have these all of these instructions on the description below. I'm gonna pass you a link to my blog. Okay, so after you do this, after you add these uh, records, you're gonna need to wait it to propagate. So meaning uh, I told you that the DNS system is a hierarchical system and it, it uh, created it in a, in a parent server somewhere and then it'll have to go down, go down, you know, because yeah, that's the way the instantiate, they go down. And it might be one hour, 24 hours. In my case it was less, it was even like, it was like five minutes. So but bear in mind that it might, it might have been like that. Okay, then you need to install iodine in the server and in the client. So we're gonna. It's the same program for both of them. Um, the same. The same program. Okay, let's go to my server. Uh, I'm gonna switch to my server. I got it there. And. Um, So in, in, you got the instructions in here. You're gonna need to, you're gonna need to install maybe this uh, this library. Um, I guess I have to install it, and then uh, you need to clone this repo, and then just make make install, and uh, then the same with your uh, client. I got it here. 
already. Oop. What else? Two, I mean, it doesn't matter, you know, because I already got them installed. But, okay. On the server, really important, you need to open up the firewall, uh, all the inbound connections on port 53. Just one of these rules, you know. Then, uh, you got this. Okay. And then, you just need to run Iodine. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do a Tmax session, so it persists this. You could instantiate it maybe with system D, but okay for the moment to try it, you know, let's run it because we're gonna lose the connectivity, obviously. Okay, this command is the daemon of uh, io iodine. Um, this this IP is an arbitrary IP. You know, you can choose any private IP, I guess, uh, because this is gonna create. You know, iodine it creates. Uh, virtual uh, network card in both the um, server and the client and we'll have uh, another IP address, another sub uh, net so you uh, just pick this one, you know, pick this one 10.0.0.1 in the client, in the server side pointing to your uh, domain name okay, the tunnel password 1234 boom on there, it's waiting there, it's already, the connection is already there, the server is already listening I'm gonna close that connection I mean it, it's gonna persist because it's in a Tmax session but I'm gonna change my oh, ooh. Okay. yeah I'm gonna change my uh, my MAC address to be kicked out of the captive portal and everything I got a new MAC address or anything but I'm gonna be I'm, I'm connected to the internet but my captive portal I must log in now so I effectively no, have no internet let's try to ping the BBC and it's a, it's a weird thing and now you can see that the, we don't we're not receiving any responses from the ping but at least we get the resolution of the name, the name of resolution actually. It implies that we got uh, DNS connectivity, so to, so to say that. DNS is working, guys. So we, we can see, we can follow this better with a dig command, which does uh, um, URL resolutions. Okay. Uh, so, nice. Uh, let's go. Let's uh, do the client side. Let's uh, connect with this command. So to our server IP, iodine fr, our server IP, and our domain name. We run that. We put the password. And now it's going to prompt this. Uh, it's going to take a, a little bit to configure. But everything should be fine now. Yep. Cool. Okay, it looks everything fine. Okay, we can see now that we got a new uh, wire, a new internet interface card DNS zero. Okay, yeah, with this IP ten dot ten dot zero dot zero dot two. Nice. Okay, what do we need to do now? Well, we can pretty much. Well, we we can um, actually go for it. And uh, and what we have to do? You know. Example, I I put you like to test the connectivity. As I told you, the the bandwidth is really low, so yeah, you can check it with those commands. Yeah. Okay. Ta -ta -ta, we need to change the root the routing table of the computer. Okay, because we now we are connected, but we are, our computer is resolving the default gateway. It's still put like the one, the real default gateway that we have in this environment. But what we need to do is just use the, that gateway for our uh, server IP, for our server, to connect to our server for the tunnel. Leave that. So we're going to add that route, basically, to our server via, in my case, the, the other IP 10.1. For two dot nine six dot one, that's uh, 
that's the gateway, that's the normal gateway. So I add that one on there, and then the default gateway, the default gateway is gonna be the new tunnel, and we add a root for that. Oh, no such process. Oh, no, it's not delete. It's add. Yeah. Okay, we are gonna delete the other one. Let me delete the other one. Maybe by metrics is gonna be the previous default gateway. Okay. So we got this one. So we should connect now. Let's ping the BBC again. And something weird is happening in here. Is uh, it should be connecting, yeah. There is there is the resolution. Let's see, may, maybe the BBC has some kind of two two two. Yeah, it's been yes. We got some response back. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got on there guys, we got connectivity. Let's check oh let's check uh let's check a website in here. Let's make it Look, ah, that, that's it. that might have been already BBC. That might have been already catched. That's what, what I wanted to show you is that it's quite slow. You know this. You can see that it might take now in a big website like this one. It might take goods 30 seconds to load, but it loads. You know. So if you were like in such a neat environment, you. Yeah, this is a resource. Okay, guys. So, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, if you liked it, uh, well, thumbs up to this. And, um, yeah, if you got any issues, just comment it below and on the comments. And as I told you, you got the, all the resources uh, to, in my blog. Uh, it's going to be downstairs, I was going to say. The link below. Uh, yeah, see you in a new adventure. <laughs>